Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I finally have the finale slash intro to my deck of panning project for 2024. This project has been going on, this is the fourth year now, and it was created by Emily from Emily and Max, inspired by Books with Maddie. I always leave all of the information in the description box, um, and I will link to Emily's new intro because she makes a new video intro every year because she, uh, sometimes like things change or she likes to add new things and she explains everything really well because it's her project so i won't <laughs> re-explain everything just go to the link in my description box and you'll also see a link to the game board so i figured Okay, I don't actually have any goals met from my last update because I filmed it very late. If you remember, I think it was in November. And I was like, maybe I'll reach a goal by December and I'll have something new. No, I didn't. And I didn't have time to film until now. And now it's February 3rd. So probably by the time this video goes up, it will be closer to like the February update. But for me, this is a finale and an intro. So what I thought I would do is just refresh everything. So even though there's some things I haven't used at all, there's one thing I haven't used. It's gonna be, we're doing this over basically. <laughs> so let's just get into it. The first product I have done so badly at, my Eloise Beauty, the Queen palette. Still only used it those two times. And here's what it looks like again. I show it in every update. I only had a five use goal on this, but it just didn't come up. It wasn't rolled for using. So that's my story. <laughs> So that'll be put away. Um, then I have, oh, that was for the prompt indie, by the way, because I, as far as I know, Eloise Beauty is an indie brand. Then for the prompt metallic, I rolled in this Touch and Soul Metal Metalist Liquid Foil and Glitter Shadow Duo. I only use this three of the five times. I do really like this side of the product this side is pretty much unusable it's dried up it's supposed to be a metallic liquid shadow but it's very dry this side is like a glittery top coat and still works fine and i really like the color of this so i'm going to keep that in my collection but i won't be in this project anymore then i rolled the prom indie again so i chose my odin's eye matte lip stain in the shade ripe papaya i really like this i like to use this more as a stain um in that i just like dab it on lips and really like sheer it out um but it's a really nice color um you know on its own it's just very much like more of a fall color for me I used that three of the five times, so putting that away. Then for double-ended duo, I rolled in my Wander Beauty Duo lipstick. Um, one shade is called BB, which is like a neutral pink. Every time I open this, I get a little scared because it's, um, you know, it's doing that wax blooming, but. It still smells fine, the formula seems fine, so I'm not getting rid of it, but there is a piece of dust <laughs> on there. Um, and I love both shades, so that's the more like neutral one, and then the other side called Nikki Beach is like a more vibrant pink. So I use this, I feel like I use this a lot. Six, oh yeah, because it was a 10 use goal. So I use this six of the 10 times. Then my Hourglass Dim Infusion, I rolled this in for the prompt blush. So this is, um, yeah, the shade is Dim Infusion. It looks really boring in the pan, but it's really nice on the skin. I like to wear this one when I go to the office because it's not too much, you know? 
but I also like to wear something else in my shot my stash my NARS um, orgasm liquid blush but when I want to do a powder blush I like this one for like every day this I also use six no okay yeah I use this eight of the ten times I tried to update my my Excel file just now, but Excel is telling me I have an unlicensed product, which I don't. It does that like every month. It tells me I don't actually have a license to Excel when I pay for it. So anyway, I don't know what that's about. <laughs> I have to restart my computer, but this is eight out of 10 uses. So I almost met my goal on that one. Then for the prompt highlight, Oh, I forgot to get this out. I rolled in my ColourPop Midas Shell Super Shock Highlighter Quad. I really like this, but, well, do I really like it? I like it. I just find, even though these are Super Shock highlighters, the fact that they're in this packaging, I feel like the formula is different from when they're in the pot. This is more like a powdery, glittery highlighter formula. I still like it, it's just not my favorite, I guess. Um, but I use this three, only three of the 10 times. But I do think even like before putting it in this project, I had used all of the shades. So yeah, it, it sort of looks used if you can see. Anyway, that'll go back in my collection. This is the thing I didn't use at all yet, but it's also something I rolled in very recently. It was for the prompt newest. So at the time when I was filming, this was the newest product to my collection, the Pat McGrath Labs Eternal Eden Eyeshadow Quad. I got this very excitingly from Ipsy. I think it was in the Icon box, which was previously the Boxy Lux box. So it's the bigger one. Every quarter you pay a bit more and you get a bigger box with like more luxurious kind of things. So this box was curated by Pat McGrath. I don't know what that means when they say somebody curated it. Like did they just pay to have their name on it? probably something more like that but this box was curated by Pat McGrath so it had the Pat McGrath Labs a Pat McGrath Labs quad in it and I've never owned like one of these kinds of eyeshadow palettes from Pat McGrath I only have the holiday ones so I was very excited to see this and I do really like these colors Nothing unique for Pat McGrath, um, like, you know, her typical mauve rosy tones, but again, I haven't reached for this at all. I haven't even swatched this because I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to get my fingers in it yet. It's still brand new. So, um, I was thinking I would keep this in my shop, my stash. Yeah. I guess I'll keep it in my shop, my stash as like a, a punishment that I didn't use it at all. Although it's not a punishment because I really want to use it. It just didn't get pulled um, when I did my makeup since rolling it in. So the last product, very similar to the ColourPop with the shell. So in hindsight, I probably shouldn't have had both of these in the same project. This is the Becca Ocean Jewels highlighter palette. So it, again, it's a like sea themed um, highlighter palette. So it has those like different colors that you can't really see in, on camera, but they're all like in person. Oh, here, they're, that's how they look. So this was quite similar <laughs> to this, but I do like this one better, even though it's like super old and Becca's not even around anymore. Uh, I really like this palette, but I was specifically supposed to work on this shade Citrine because the prompt was birthstone and I'm born in November. So my birthstone, it could be 
um, citrine or opal? No. Citrine or topaz, right? Oh my god, I always forget. The orange one. Anyway, very confused. But <laughs> that's the story with that one. I only used it twice out of five times. So that was my sad <laughs> finale, which was very... Um, what's the word? Anticlimactic, I guess you would say. So let's just refresh everything. Like I said, start from the beginning. We are going to pull six products uh, using my Dragon Ball Z cards. I did pull out a Joker because you only need to have one Joker. Um, and I already shuffled them before filming because I'm terrible at shuffling and I would just have to edit out you know, me stumbling around. So anyway, let's open the game board. So, um, I have the new game board here. It says, hello and welcome to round four of Deck of Panning. So it's the fourth year, like I said. And I don't know if we need to explain much. It still works the same way. It's just, you know, the the prompts have been reshuffled as they are every month anyway but hey guys editing me here um my footage got corrupt and i don't even know how i'm going to insert this clip because i'm not good at editing but hopefully i can figure it out anyway it's only this one part that seems to be corrupt and it's actually like freezing my entire software but it's the part where I pick the cards which is really annoying <laughs> and I actually got the Joker I think as my second card it's like two weeks later so <laughs> I'm trying to remember um, but I think I'm going to explain that in the next clip because I also got the get out of jail free card and then I was like, oh, I can use this to get rid of the Joker. So I'm going to come back and explain that, I think, hopefully. I hope this makes sense. <laughs> anyway, just keep watching if you want to see my products. Wait, before I go, I just thought of something. I got the, um, the get out of jail free card. So doesn't that mean I can just not... Get the Joker. Re okay, let me read that again. Keep for future use. Do not add back into your deck. Replaces the veto. So technically, like, it works like the veto. So I can veto the Joker. I'm gonna do it. I mean, who, who cares? Nobody's gonna come for me. If I didn't follow the rules, you know? So let's just pick one more before my battery dies. Ten of Diamonds. Ten of Diamonds is Peach Fuzz. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so that's what I did. I got out of getting the Joker. I was going to choose the Rare Beauty blush, but I'd rather not. So yeah, <laughs> I'll be back now. For real. Okay, apparently all my batteries are about to die, so I have to be very quick. So for three of spades, it was a prompt primer, and I wanted to choose something like I actually have a chance of panning. So I'm just going to do this deluxe sample. This is the RMS Beauty Revolve, no, Re-Evolve Radiance Locking Primer. I will try and finish this. Hopefully I can do it. It's just 0.16 fluid ounces or 5 mLs. Then for 10 of diamonds, that was peach fuzz. And at first I was like, oh, it just means like something peach theme. But it's because peach fuzz is the Pantone color of the year, I believe. So of course, anybody that gets this prompt will probably be picking something from Too Faced because they have a lot of peach themed products. This is one of the first blushes I ever bought, the Too Faced Papadome Peach. It's one of my favorites. I will try and use this 10 times. Then for the Four of Clubs, I read this wrong before. I thought it was 
the four of spades, which is dethroned, but this is the four of clubs. So this is powder. And I didn't want to think too much about this. I just chose this powder that I have in my everyday makeup drawer, the Too Faced Peach Perfect, because I am not someone that needs to be using multiple powders at a time. I have a hard time even reaching for one. So I'm going to try and use this. 10 times. Then for matte, I chose my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Concealer. Um, this is kind of cheating because I feel like I'd be using this anyway because I use it as a spot concealer, but I haven't been using it recently because I've been using something else, but I'll go back to this and hopefully get some more use out of it. I think this is my most used concealer, so let's do 10 times on that as well. Then for warm tone, of course, I had to go for my Naked Heat palette. This is the most warm tone thing I think I have <laughs> because it's all warm tones and it's very similar. So I will try and use this palette five times. I'm not working on any specific shade, just the palette itself five times. And then for pencil, I thought about rolling a lip liner, but I'm already working on like four lip liners. So I actually chose a lip pencil, like a this kind of thing, you know what I mean? This is the Physician's Formula Rose Kiss All Day Velvet Lip Color in Pillow Top. So this I will try and use, dare I say, 10 times as well. It's a pretty neutral color, so it shouldn't be difficult. That's what it looks like. Plus it's getting old, and in my experience, Physicians Formula lip products don't last very long. So I will do this one. And I have to do a very quick outro because my battery's gonna die. But I hope you like this video. Like I said, look for all the the links in the description box. If you like this video, give it a like. Let me know if you're also doing the deck of panning this year and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye.